Hello everyone, welcome to Tianjin University Ambassador Talks. My name is Timothy Joseph Tagal. I'm an Admission Promotion Ambassador of Tianjin University. And today, we are going to discuss about the major of civil engineering and the study experience in Tianjin University. And we have been accompanied by our fellow student ambassador. Please welcome Adarsha Podial. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Thank you, Timothy, for inviting me this in Ambassador Talk. I am really feel proud of you. Yes, of course. I also thank you for your availability to share with us. Of course, you have a lot of study experience and a lot of insights uh, you can share with us. And uh, before we start, this is your first time, right, in Ambassador Talks. So would you mind to briefly introduce yourself? Okay, bro, I want to introduce. I have made a PPT, so I will share that PPT and introduce simultaneously, respectively. Yeah. Yes, of so course. Give, yeah. give so, me a second. Yeah. You can give me a second you. to share this. Great. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, could you see my screen? Yes, yes, it's good. Yeah. Let me introduce myself. My name is Adar Sapore. I am from Nepal. I completed my bachelor degree in civil engineering from the Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Canada, which is in India. And I have a three years professional experience after I've completed my bachelor degree, uh, where uh, two years I work as a resume of raising income of a small and medium farmer project, which is funded by the Asian Development Bank, ADP, and supported by the Nepal government. After that, one year I work as a Saptakoshi Jaldar Construction Company, Private Limited, which is in only Nepal. And uh, from 2021 to 2023, I have own a CSC scholarship, fully funded scholarship. And I have joined the civil engineering as a master degree in the School of Civil Engineering at Tianjin University. And currently, I'm international student ambassador of Tianjin University for 2021 and 22. And this was my short brief introduction about myself. Yes, it's a introduction. And, you know, uh, we will discuss more about your experience, but you have prepared this VPT. So, yeah, you can share more about civil engineering. Okay, bro, I'll go through the PPT one then. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, after I completed my bachelor degree, then I am worried where to apply and how to apply at the Tangent University because my uh, background is from the civil engineering. So I search different kinds of websites and everything. So while searching, I found the seeking truth from the facts, which is the main motto of the Tangent University. And from different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, uh, I know about this Tianjin University and also from the more details, I know the Tianjin University from the university websites and from the different friends group, from different WeChat groups, uh, WhatsApp groups and different Facebook groups, I came to know about this Tianjin University. And uh, now, yeah. how I decided to study the major civil engineering. After completing my grad 12, 12 education, then I was thinking to do further higher education. So in that time, as uh, I mean, my motto is to do the civil engineering because as my country is one of the developing countries where most civil engineering is required. In this, uh, this point hits my mind. So I came to know that the civil engineering is required uh, for my own country and for my life. So I uh, choose the civil engineering as my major subject. And uh, another reason for choosing the civil engineering is that civil engineering is known as the father of all our, all our engineering. And from the civil engineering, where we can get the more practical knowledge, and it was the uh, course which has highly demand in all over the world. And this is the field where can, I can make my own mark and a uh, career to better a world to live in. And another main reason to choose the civil engineering is that becoming a civil engineer, we can travel different and visit the different parts in the world. And we can research the new ideas and implement it and get the results within short period of our time. So due to these all reasons, I choose the, as a measure as civil engineering. Yeah, it's very comprehensive. It's very great. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Now, why TGU for the civil engineering? Why Tianjin University only for the civil engineering? Before that, I came to about the Tianjin University. Why I choose the Tianjin University? Then later I'll talk about the Tianjin University for civil engineering. Before, why I choose the Tianjin University? Because it is the first institution of higher education in the modern history of China. And it is one of the first batch of 211, 1985 projects, universities, and the double first class initiative university. Another main reason, to choose the Tianjin University is university ranking according to 2021 CU.net. It ranks at the top point 
And in 2022, US News World University ranking in Asia, it was ranked as 49. In the QS World ranking 2022, it was ranked as 334. And it was a vibrant camp campus. So for all these reasons, I choose first as a Tianjin University. Then why Tianjin University only for the civil engineering? I came to that point. Because it offers the degree in English medium. And it also provides the scholarships. It has academic excellence with high quality research. And another important thing to choose the School of Civil Engineering uh, in a Tianjin University is that it's first level discipline in the PhD and postdoctoral program, where there it's offers civil engineering program, hydraulic engineering program, naval and also engineering program. All these programs come under the School of Civil Engineering. And there another important thing is that it has a national key disciplines in the Tianjin University at the School of Civil Engineering. That is hydraulic engineering program, which is labeled at the first level, and structural engineering program, which is labeled at second level. And besides this, uh, civil engineering programs ranks at the seventh in the national academic assessment, whereas in hydraulic engineering programs ranks as third, and the naval and ocean engineering programs ranks at the fourth. Be, don't be confused that civil engineering, hydraulic engineering, and naval and ocean engineering, all this comes under the school of civil engineering only. So I have discussed all these, uh, included all these things. Another major important things to the uh, to the civil uh, engineering as engineering we have to do the research team research so in, in uh, Tianjin University at the School of Civil Engineering there are more many research teams some of the research teams which have I am mainly impressed so I choose this these are the movements of hydraulic engineering safety and disaster prevention innovation team in the key areas of Ministry of Science and Technology and Tianjin University has an innovative talent team which is used for the disaster prevention reduction and intelligence monitoring of a large public buildings. Besides this, safety and disaster prevention of momentum civil engineering innovation team in the key areas of Ministry of Science and Technology. And another basic important things is that basic theory of research of safety and momentum hydraulic engineering project, continuing support for the national innovation groups, International Science Center for Earthquake Engineering, and the Eastern Key Laboratory for Hydraulic Engineering, Simulation, and Safety. These are the some research teams which mainly focused for the civil engineering and which attract my points to, uh, toward the Tianjin University for the School of Civil Engineering. Besides this, the School of Civil Engineering has a research-based establishment, which is uh, area is about 2,833 square meters, and which has more than 2,300 equipments, around 52.19 million yuan. This is the picture of this research-based establishment in the School of Civil Engineering at Tianjin University. And after that, why civil, School of Civil Engineering uh, I choose the Tianjin University because many after completed my degree, uh, many people was mainly worried about their career prospectus. So after studying at uh, uh, Tianjin University the School of Civil Engineering, the past records are as follows: that the graduate schools are mainly to those who take the future education in this university, which is the Tianjin University, Tianjin Shengya University. Besides this, the students are also studying in the University of Sydney. Imperial College of London, Manchester, these are the some institutions where students have uh, as continues their degree after uh, completing their master degree, bachelor degree, uh, to join the PhD it's, uh, in this top ranked university. And uh, more than 92% uh, and 95%, 0.48% are employment in this company after their graduation. So this also attracts me to uh, the civil engineering at the Tangier University. Yeah. <laughs> And another important thing is that in School of Civil Engineering, there are different international activities, which are as for the expand of international cooperation and exchange, invite the foreign scholars and the experts, support teachers, students to visit the abroad, watch international conference, launch fully English program for master programs. These are also the main attraction of the Tianjin University School of Civil Engineering. And then besides this, they have also international uh, partner like a two innovative engineering base, hydraulic engineering simulation and safety, earthquake engineering simulation for financially supporting to the international expert to give the lecture and the course. And there are also uh, many other partners that are like University in Cooperation is a Queen's University in Canada, University of Gulf in Canada, University of London, UK, Cash Western Reserve University in the United States, University Nice Sophia. Interfellis in the France and the University of Indonesia in Korea. And another um, main important international partner of Tianjin University School of Civil Engineering is that they have the Joint Research Center of Tianjin University and the University of Western Australia, Joint Research Center of Tianjin University and the University of London. And besides this, Tianjin University also approved as a Chinese Office of Canadian Society for Civil Engineering. These are the some international partners which partner which attracts the students toward this and these are the things which attracts me uh, towards the School of Civil Engineering at the Tianjin University.
And besides this, another main important thing is that the Tianjin School of Engineering has also built a, a new partnership which is ongoing. That is the Kaito University, which is a famous university. I think everyone knows about this. And another is a Polytechnic Milan University and the National Education University of Singapore. These are the some uh, building new partnerships on going from the Tianjin University School of Civil Engineering to this multi, this highly reputed universities in the world. This, this is the things which attracts me the uh, civil civil engineering at the Tianjin University. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah because these universities they are you know like well known like we all know yeah. these are very famous universities like NUS like one of the number one engineering universities Kyoto in Japan. I mean, yeah, you choose a very great university. And yeah, we do have in the university a lot of qualities. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay continue, continue. Okay, bro. And after this, now my student experience feelings in the uh, Tianjin University is yeah. uh, the, during this pandemic situations that uh, I could not visit uh, physically present in the Tianjin University, so I could attend the class physically, but there will be online classes, so I attend that online classes and on that reference, I have some experience in the feelings. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic classes are conducted on the Tencent book meeting, which we are doing all right now, like this only, uh, uh, the classes will be conducted, the professor will be there, they will share the presentation, and we can discuss with them face to face. And another is a Ding Talk, Ren Classroom, and the Tank Platform. All these are the things where we study during this pandemic period. And another thing is that the lectures will be shared in the PDB, PD, PDF and PPT presentation form. And important notice are shared in the respective which are course group. We have different course, have a different respective which are. So we, uh, the professor will share the important notice, information and about everything's notes, lectures in that which are groups. And the online platform of taking class are user friendly. These are uh, this platform are not so much uh, difficult so that uh, the uh, candidate cannot uh, handle it easily but it is user friendly so everyone can handle it easily and they can uh, learn the uh, classes easily and yeah. professors are well experienced and taught with all concepts clear and besides this if you have any confusion on a lecture then immediately at the end of the class also we can ask the question as well as later in which are group we can ask the question and clear our doubts and queries if we cannot attend our classes in that time then the uh, recorded video will be shared in the respective which are groups by the professors also these are my study and experience feelings beside this yeah i have also the another experience and the feelings is that i interact with the different friends from the different international countries like of pakistan Yemen, iran congo nigeria indonesia etc and also get the opportunity to learn the Chinese language as a Chinese culture. All the professor teachers are find very helpful and cooperative. And finally, I be, feel proud to be a student of the Tianjin University. These are the some study and experience feelings during this period of our time because I could not physically present in the Tianjin University right now due to the pandemic. And these are the some platforms where we learn the uh, courses. This is known as a book meeting where we learn these courses. And this is another book meeting, which are book meeting only group where we have learned different uh, professors share the presentation. And you know that this is a tank tank platform where we learn the Chinese language and culture and applied research classes where teachers upload their uh, videos in this uh, platform. And we will see in the limited period of our time, we have to finish the homework and everything's in this uh, platform only. These all of these all platforms are usually friendly. These are the some platform where we used to learn during this period of our time. And these are the some logos or where we have taken the classes. This is known as a boom meeting. It looks like this. We can easily find in the Google Play Store and we can download. And this is a ding talk, which also can easily find in the Google Play Store or in a, a website. So you can download. And this is the WeChat logo where we can find everything uh, in, easily in the uh, Google Play as well as in a for our desktop or PC, we can find in the websites. Yeah. Thank you. And now I want to uh, talk about the Arts School of Civil Engineering. Why students should join the School of Civil Engineering at the Tianjin University only? Uh, beside, uh, because there are the more, many reasons. Among them, some of the reasons that I recommend other students who are prepared for the higher education to join the uh, study in the China. So for them, I will recommend at the Tianjin University, especially those students who are uh, seeking for the civil engineering. Because in the Tianjin University, uh, at the School of Civil Engineering, there are six teaching units, which are as Department of Civil Engineering, Department of Hydraulic and Hydropower Engineering, Department of Port Engineering, Department of Design and the Management Ship and Offshore Engineering, Department of Ocean Engineering, and the Geotechnical Institute. 
These are some six teaching units of the School of Civil Engineering. For more uh, details information, here is our website. You can get, visit this website also. And another important thing is that there is a 13 research units uh, in the School of Civil Engineering at Tanzania University. Some of them are I have discussed here, and uh, the remaining here it is in websites. Uh, we can go through it, and we can find more research units. Some of the research units are Ocean and Marine Engineering Research Units, Hydraulic Wind Power Engineering Institute, Structural Engineering Research Units, Disaster Prevention and Mitigation and Protection Engineering Research Units, Geotechnical Engineering Research Units, and Steel Structure Research Units. And besides this, the School of Civil Engineering has a bachelor program, uh, bachelor degree program, where it includes the civil engineering program under this construction engineering, bridge engineering, and underground engineering, hydraulic and hydropower engineering program is there, harbor coastal and offshore engineering program is there, naval and ocean engineering program, where ocean engineering, marine engineering, and international shipping management. And another, there, there is a second undergraduate degree, which is project management program. These are the some programs which are offered by the School of Civil Engineering for the bachelor degree program. For master and PhD program, the School of Civil Engineering offers the geotechnical engineering, structural engineering, disaster prevention and reduction protective engineering program, bridge and tunnel engineering, engineering technique and management, hydraulic engineering, wind power engineering, naval and ocean engineering. These are the programs which are offered by the PhD and master program. But in master, there are only the three programs which are taught in English. They are civil engineering, hydraulic engineering, naval and ocean engineering program. Other all programs are, uh, are taught in uh, uh, other all programs uh, which are taught in English are provided in the PhD program, but for master programs, there are only three programs which are offered in the English at the School of Civil Engineering. Yeah. And beside this, and beside this, why the students are seeking for the Tangent University? Why should they apply for the Tangent University if they are preparing? Because there are more than 42 plus supervisors which are open to guide the international postgraduate pro students. Because in master and PhD, we, we should do the research. For that, we required a professor, uh, respective professors to guide us. I mean, in the, in the School of Civil Engineering at Tangent University, there are more than 42 plus supervisors who are open to guide the international postgraduate students. So if anyone to, wants to consult with the professor, they can mail uh, according to their research interest in the, uh, directly by mailing them so that they can accept, uh, give you a letter and you can apply for the uh, civil engineering so which may increase your chance as, as, also, as well as uh, it add the positive effects in your application and these are the some uh, professors list which i will share in this for more details you can check the uh, website of school of uh, international education of Tianjin university school of civil engineering this is the website where you can find the more details uh, of a professor according to the research field language and instruction and their email already everything and now come to the Many people are worried, many candidates are worried about the, uh, what type of scholarship they provide by the Tianjin University, the School of Civil Engineering, or, or, or Tianjin University, or other different things, because many students cannot bear their whole fee, because, but also, uh, beside this, so the Tianjin University also has provided the scholarship. Some of the scholarships which are provided by the Tianjin University are Chinese government scholarship type A, where undergraduate programs are taught in the Chinese medium only, and master and PhD, which are pro program taught for both Chinese and English medium. For this, the deadline of this scholarship depends upon the respective country's embassy. So uh, the, uh, the candidates who want to apply this Chinese government scholarship type A, they should consult their respective uh, country's embassy for the deadline and apply uh, in the CSC portal only. And there is another Mokkum scholarship. This uh, is only provided for the master and PhD, uh, which deadline is depends upon their respective com uh, country's embassy. This is also same like a type A, uh, but a slightly different. Uh, so you should consult with this country's embassy only, respective country's embassy. And another is a Chinese government scholarship type B, which is for master and PhD programs, you know, which deadline is April 15, 2021, which has already passed. So the students who want to apply, they should apply in the next year. But don't worry, there are other scholarships they can apply for, for this year also. And another, there is a Chinese government scholarship Silk Road program, which is also for the master and PhD, which deadline is April 15th, 2022. And another... There is a Tianjin government scholarship, which is provided for the master program only, and which deadline is June 15, 2022. Beside this, then, uh, there is another un uh, scholarships provided by the Tianjin University, which is Tianjin University International Student Scholarship, which is for both bachelor and master, which deadline is June 15, 2022. And another, there is a paying future scholarship 
for the PhD candidate, which deadline is also June 15, 2022. And for the bachelor program, there is one QS scholarship, which uh, yes. deadline is June 15, 2022. For more details about the scholarships, I have mentioned the websites. Uh, you can get, visit these websites to know more about this scholarship program at the Tenzin University and also in the School of Civil Engineering. Besides this, besides this, all scholarships, School of Civil Engineering has also set a special scholarship to support the prospective international mm -hmm. students in the master program in English. So the students want to apply the civil engineering, they can apply these uh, scholarships, which uh, which is taught in the English medium only, and it is a full and partial scholarships uh, where it's covered the tuition fee thirty thousand RMB per year for full scholarship and provide two thousand RMB living allowances. Whereas the partial scholarships only provide the living allowances to twelve thousand RMB per month. And uh, the uh, search capacity for uh, this uh, is uh, for full scholarship, there is five seats, and for partial, there is a uh, 10 seats. This is a, a special scholarship which is set by the School of Civil Engineering for the uh, we want to uh, apply for the civil engineering, set by the School of Civil Engineering at Tangent University, we want to apply for the civil engineering only for master program. Yes, it's very competitive for, the, for this kind of scholarship. Right five people yeah. are destined to get the full scholarship <laughs> yeah but uh this scholarship is helpful for those students who cannot get the scholarship directly from the csc scholarship yeah. here also it can provide the full scholarships and there are the five seats so it will be helpful for them so i have shared this for them all And beside this, if you have any information and anything related to me, then you can contact directly to the email of this Tanzanian University. And there I have sent my contact email, that is my Facebook email ID and this yeah. uh, WeChat. And for to guide the scholarships, you can visit this uh, YouTube channel where you can get the guidance for the scholarship of civil engineering. This is an application group of WeChat group of a Tanzanian University uh, official. And this is an official uh, Tanzanian University study at TSU. Which are group, so you can get visit, get, scan this QR code and get the more information about this. This must for, for me today. That thank yeah. you, Timothy, yes, for inviting me this. Yes, I do have a further question. Uh, can you go to your first slide to show your introduction? Yeah. Yeah. So you know you have like a professional uh, experience. So I'm actually wondering like. Uh, when you go into career, is there any difference mm -hmm. when you go from university into career? How is your experience when you go into workplace? Actually, for the uh, while we do work, we don't have that en enough time to uh, get our own experience because we have certain limitations and uh, boundaries to do work. We have to do work in there only. But after going to the university, we can go more details about this education. So it will be helpful in our future or coming life. Like we have to draw the big buildings, design structures, and their uh, load bearing capacity and everything. For this, we cannot do directly in our workplace because there will be the limited uh, things, what we should do in that uh, time frame only. So all these things which we have to do in our university by doing research and different things so it will be very helpful this will be interconnected with each other yeah of course and i found out that you won scholarship as well so how is your experience when yeah. you're applying to csc yeah firstly after i completed my bachelor degree and work experience i was thinking to apply for the scholarship only but i don't have any idea where to apply how to apply any all these things yeah. so i i have to research on these things only so i found that china is one of the favorable country which provide the more mainly scholarships and it is also the one with a friendly environment and everything so i choose first as a china for my uh, uh, to study my higher education so after that i uh, start uh, do research in different universities of the china then i found the tangent university as one of the best university for the civil engineering in the china because it's lab facilities and everything so after that i uh, started this in this university more deeply by going their websites there i found a different information about the scholarships after that i also got the one wechat group official wechat group of a tangent university in the facebook group so i scanned that qr code and uh, joined the uh, uh, official research group of uh, 
Tianjin University. Yeah. So where the international student uh, office uh, teachers are available there, so they can directly uh, clear our doubts, queries about anything related to the scholarship. So I followed them and I uh, uh, watched the different videos, YouTubes and uh, different things. And after all these different things, I prepared my documents accordingly uh, required by the Tianjin University and I applied and finally I got the scholarship. This yeah, of course, because, you know, if, if master and PhD in the Asian University, they have acquired like international accreditation and all sorts of uh, good qualities. And it's actually a good, uh, you know, a good opportunity for you to be accepted to the Asian University. And I wonder that, you know, like mm -hmm. you, you are now in master's degree. So what kind of research mm -hmm. area that you uh, currently specifically focus on? Uh, my research area is especially focused on the porous materials for this time and I have found a supervisors and my work was going on it because it is a research area which is cannot share detailedly but right now I only share that my research is going on a porous materials for the cement shear rock formation. This was the research which is ongoing. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so I, I'm actually wondering, you know, since you're doing research online uh, right now mm -hmm. in your own country, so mm -hmm. uh, is there any like difficulties that you face, for example, your progress of your research? How is your in experience right now uh, for your research progress? Uh, right now, up to now, I have uh, don't have any uh, problems because uh, the professors have yeah. been in touch with me with, with chat and we have uh, done the board meeting and different uh, share materials and everything's presentation. Up to now, it, there will be an difficult, but when it will be go on the lab, which is in the next year, so it might be very difficult for that year. But right now, it's not being any difficult. We can do easily by sharing and we can, uh, if any confusion is there, we can directly ask to the supervisor or professor because he's in WeChat groups. We, but one thing we have to be known that we should not hesitate to ask for with them what they will tell, what will be our problems and everything. So if we hesitate, then it will be back for, backward backward for us but we should if we confidently if we ask with them they will answer all the questions and the queries and they will helpful and every time so it, it is not difficult right now bro Excuse yeah me. yeah of course uh bro can you close the screen let's continue to uh further question that i have yeah okay okay yeah. okay bro i'll stop my screens here yeah okay wait this is Wait, I cannot see you. You cannot see me? Um, okay, yeah. So uh, I'm actually wondering that right now that you also, you know, do a great, great job on your study as well. Your research progress are ongoing. So right now you're also a student ambassador. So how do you feel your experience right now as student ambassador, you know, like helping prospective students? You know, how is your experience right now? Being at Tianjin University, first of all, I feel very much proud being a part of this Tianjin University. Yeah. And besides this, I was also nominated as a Tianjin University student ambassador for this 2022 years. During this time, after my Every time I cannot be free, so when I am in free, I will answer the questions for the students who want to apply the Tianjin universities, and I will provide their information. Besides this, I will go visit my different schools and give their presentation about the Tianjin University, so that uh, the Tianjin University and our uh, schools levels, which are in grade 12 bachelor's programs, which are offered by in our in Nepal, they are also interested on this, and I give them presentation, and it will feel very proud because being a representative of Tianjin University, it's uh, like a different kind of a proud, which I cannot express yeah. in my words <laughs> also. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, it's me as well. I mean, I've been ambassador. I'm also an mm. ambassador as well. Mm. So yeah, representing yeah. Tianjin University, mm. you know, people see us mm. as a Tianjin mm. University. They mm. always ask us about uh, development, scholarship, admission. And another question yeah. that I have is that, you know, as you see, the mm. Tianjin University can provide very good international cooperation. You can have Lots of opportunities to you know, work with great supervisors and then uh, have a great mm. research. So according to your interest as well, uh, after you graduate, mm. do you want to continue to academia or you want to work in industry? How do you think? No, no. My my current research uh, thing is that I will continue my PhD degree okay. if I get opportunity <laughs> in the Tianjin University. Because after got, uh, if we stop the education in the middle, then it will be a difficult to join from starting again because we have done one thing in a research area 
and we if we continue that research in future then it will be helpful if yeah. we break down that then it will be a di little bit difficult so my plan is to continue my research phd also yeah of course yeah phd is a good step mm -hmm. you know you want to continue your work more and of course i think you want yeah. to apply for scholarship as well right csc or uh, yeah. a young future scholar yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i hope you can yeah, get your admission after you graduate i hope you can graduate also on time and of course Thank i you, before we end <laughs> our talk so okay. Uh, would you give us an insight to the prospective students? Uh, what is the job prospects of graduating from civil engineering? You mean means career aspects? Yeah, the to... career. Yeah, the career prospects. Yeah, uh, yeah. After graduating for, from the Stanford University or uh, uh, in the civil engineering, as I already told in my presentation also, and right right now I also told that the civil engineering has a highly demand in the world so you can you can guys find the job opportunities inside the china also outside the china if you want to work inside the china you you must have a good command in the chinese language beside the english also because it is the main important things because uh, if you have a chinese language good command then you can work there also and uh, after that you can also go to the higher education which have number one rank university like a uh, uh, Shanghai university in uh, donji university and different international universities which has collaboration with the Tianjin universities and we has, which has gone on the building partnership. So you can exchange the program there also. So it has a great opportunity after the completing the civil engineering from the Tianjin University. And beside this, the, we can exp uh, express the Eastern Lake Cap Lab key laboratories of a Tianjin University where you can find the job there also if you have a good uh, command with your professors or supervisors so they can take you in their lab research group so you can work them for them and you can uh, develop your research skills more highly also these are the things yeah of course it's, it's been very inspiring and insightful uh, brother mm -hmm. because you know prospective students mm -hmm. thinking that you know civil engineering is very popular and very mm -hmm. you know demanding have a lot of job prospects mm -hmm. and of course you have shown many Tianjin universities mm -hmm. uh, features like for example from mm -hmm. bachelor degrees until phd studies mm -hmm. there are full scholarship available mm -hmm. right there's a joshua scholarship mm -hmm. uh, international student scholarship and csc for bachelor for master mm -hmm. we have csc Tianjin government and special scholarship mm. in civil engineering mm. and for phd yeah. we have csc and payang major scholarship so mm. your international student basically everyone can apply not restricted mm. to any other country so you can apply you can continue your studies in civil engineering major and that has been very great uh brother for your uh story and sharing for us and of course you also as a current mm. student you have shared your perspective so uh thank you so mm. much for your time and i hope your, for your future endeavor to be a success and i hope you can you can you, you can reach your doctoral studies in Tianjin university and of course uh if you guys want to contact us more please look at the description below uh ardasha and me our fellow student ambassador in Tianjin university we can help you and to contact you to you know request for guidance and admissions and thank you so much brother for your time uh hope that uh, we can continue to help more and more students in uh Tianjin University and to be accepted to Tianjin University. Okay, uh thank you thank so much, you. brother. And if you guys have uh interested content that I should make, you could should put in the comments below and like, subscribe, and comment to my channel so you can share to people more. And thank you everyone for your attention. See you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you, Timothy, for inviting me.